Greetings of the day to everyone. 11th May is celebrated as National Technology Day and today we have met to celebrate it and discuss the role of chemistry in technological advancement of the society. Many of you might have watched the famous movie Lage Raho Munna Bhai wherein the lead actor Sanjay Dutt, that is Munna Bhai, was told that some chemical locha has happened in his brain and he is visualizing strange things. This implies that our thoughts or emotions are governed by chemicals. This example sets the tone of today's deliberation. Someone has rightly said that, for better or for worse, everything is chemical. This statement seems to be correct as chemistry is an incredibly fascinating field of science. Because it is so fundamental to our world, chemistry plays a role in everyone's life and touches almost every aspect of our existence in some way or the other. Chemistry is essential for meeting our basic needs of food, clothing, shelter, health, energy, and clean air, water, and soil. Chemistry is often referred to as the central science because it joins together physics and mathematics, biology and medicine, and the earth and environmental sciences. Knowledge of the nature of chemicals and chemical processes therefore provides insights into a variety of physical and biological phenomena. Knowing, about, knowing something about chemistry is worthwhile because it provides an excellent basis for understanding the physical universe we live in. Chemical technologies enrich our quality of life in numerous ways by providing new solutions to our day-to-day -day problems. Overall, during the last two centuries, the chemical sciences have contributed enormously both to broad improvements in human well-being including enhancements in life expectancy, health and quality of life, and to wealth creation for individuals and nation. In other words, we can say that chemistry is essential for us to survive. Now we would discuss the important role played by chemistry in some of the fields that are vital for survival of mankind. Firstly, I would like to call Akanksha, who would discuss use of chemistry in fulfillment ever increasing energy demands of the human. Thank you so much, Shivangi, for inviting me. A very warm greeting of the day to all of you. My name is Akansha Sharma and I'm a student of class 12. Today, I am going to tell you about the use of chemistry in fulfilling energy demands. Chemistry is intimately related with the generation and use of energy. We need energy for almost all the human activities, including manufacturing, transportation, heating, and cooling our homes, lighting, and cooking as well. Currently, about 85% of the world's energy is obtained by burning fossil fuels, like petroleum, natural gas, and coal. Humans will always need energy, and chemists will continue to play a central role in learning how to produce and use it. Chemists have been using electrochemistry for generation of electrical energy for quite some time. Electrochemistry is a branch of chemistry that is concerned with the relation between electricity and chemical change. Many spontaneously occurring chemical reactions liberate electrical energy, and some of these reactions are used in batteries and fuel cells to produce power. This form of energy involves moving electrons through a wire and using the energy of these electrons. Electrochemical cells used for power generation are called batteries. Many important chemical reactions involve the exchange of one or more electrons, and they can use this movement of electrons as electricity. Batteries are one way of producing this type of energy. Thus, chemistry provides us sustainable ways to fulfill our energy demand and get electricity without overusing petroleum and coal, and thereby conserving them for the future generation. We know that our energy demand is hiking day by day. Thus, chemistry has provided us many more solutions of generating energy sustainably. One such solution is making fuel cells that make use of hydrogen. We know that hydrogen is an energy storage medium. Energy stored as hydrogen in the form of a gas or a liquid will never dissipate until it is used, making it a good application for emergency generators and other mission-critical energy applications. Compare that to other energy storage types, like batteries and capacitors, which lose the energy stored in them over time and need to be periodically recharged even without use. Batteries use chemistry in the form of chemical potential to store energy, just like many other everyday energy sources. 
For example, wood and logs store energy in their chemical bonds until burning converts the energy to heat. We all are familiar with the electric vehicles that are the best way of reducing our energy demands. These electric vehicles are the future of tomorrow. When we see an electric vehicle on the street, we immediately think of its core element, the electric battery. But how many of us know that chemistry played a key role in creating these batteries? A lot of chemical processes are involved in making a battery. Chemicals used inside the battery make batteries charge quicker, be more resistant to heat, and remain efficient throughout the years of charging and discharge. Lithium-ion batteries are also used in many products such as electronics, toys, wireless headphones, handheld power tools, small and large appliances, electric vehicles, and electrical energy storage systems. Thus, chemistry plays a vital role in fulfilling the energy demand of mankind without harming the environment. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Next, Ashi would discuss the contribution of chemistry in sustaining agriculture and improving food security. Thanks, Shivangi, for this warm invitation. Greetings to all. Now, I am Ashi Jai, and now I want to tell you about the role of chemistry in agriculture, food, and nutrition. The basic need of human being is food. It's agriculture only that fulfills this need for the entire population of the world. Plants are called producers as they synthesize their own food. The rest of the food chain consists of consumers only. The practice of producing crops and livestock from the natural resource of the earth is called agriculture. Chemistry deals with compounds, both organic and inorganic. And agriculture deals with the production of organic products using both organic and inorganic inputs. Thus, chemistry forms an integral part of agriculture from molecular to organ level. It plays a role from the basics of photosynthesis to the utilization of agricultural produce. The advancement in this practice are only because of active research carried out in chemistry, and then its application to cause the land to produce more abundantly and at the same time to protect it from deterioration and misuse. Chemistry plays an important role in the process like photosynthesis. This is natural process provides the basic building block for all agricultural products. No chemical process is more important to live on earth than photosynthesis. Without photosynthesis, not only would there be no plant, the planet could not sustain the life of any kind. Research in this kind area has led to understanding the mechanism and hence optimize the condition for the maximization of this process. The gifts of chemistry to agriculture includes fertilizer is any organic or inorganic material of natural or synthetic origin that is added to the soil to supply one or more plant nutrients essential to the growth of plants. A recent assessment found that about 40 to 60 percent of the crop yields are attributable to commercial fertilizer use. Appropriate use of fertilizer to increase crop yield has counterbalanced laws of land due to urbanization and significantly supported global population growth. It has been estimated that almost half of the people on the earth are currently fed as a result of synthetic nitrogen fertilizer use. In order to minimize the damage of the crop by pests, a large variety of chemicals known as pesticides are used. Subclasses of this are herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, rodenticides, pediculicides, and biocides, depending on its target. With active research in this field, safer and cleaner pesticides are being developed. Insecticides are chemicals that are used to kill insects because they can spread livestock diseases can eat stored grain and can feed on growing crops. These chemicals prevent crop uses to insects and other pests. One study found that not using pesticides reduced crop yields by about 10%. Development of saccharin and sweeteners, vitamins and minerals, consumers have benefited from new technologies that have enhanced the flavor, appearance, availability, and nutritional value of their food. Advantages of advancement of chemistry in agriculture provide nutrients not available in the soil, replace nutrients removed at harvest, balance nutrients for better produce quality and higher yields. The primary benefit for the uh, consequences of the pesticides and fertilizer effect, the direct gains expected from the use, 
For example, the effect of killing caterpillars feeding on the crop brings the primary benefit of higher yield and better quality of cabbage. Without chemistry in agriculture, mankind would be severely affected. With the help of chemistry, we are able to decrease the mismatch between demand and supply ratio. Thank you. Beautiful. Now I would like to call Anubhav Kaur, who would discuss the important role played by chemistry in improving overall well-being and health of the mankind. Thank you, Shivangi, for introducing me. And I, Anubhav Kaur, is going to tell you about the chemistry being the important in the human health. Chemistry being the most important branch of science also plays a very important role in human health, as chemistry is everywhere from how much amount of medicine should be taken to how should be the composition of biological things in a human body. The three major roles played by chemistry in human health are nutrition for the prevention of disease, diagnostics for the detention of disease, and medicine for the treatment of disease. Talking about a recent example, COVID-19, scientists who made its vaccine first studied its chemical composition and how it's affecting our body. Then they created a machine for detecting the disease. And after all of that, by using some proper amount of chemicals, they came with a vaccine. Chemistry in pharmaceutical. Chemistry is concerned with the design and synthesis of biologically active molecules. The aim is to gain new chemical molecules that could enable the discovery of new pharmaceuticals or optimize already known drug structures thereby to expand the portfolio of chemical drugs. Organic chemistry plays an essential role in the pharmaceutical industry, whereby knowledge of organic compounds is used to inform research and further discover and develop new medicines. To this end, people with a degree specializing in organic chemistry find it helpful and practical to supplement their knowledge with dedicated training within the pharmaceutical research and development field to combine these two fields to become true specialists in the intersection of organic chemistry and drug development. Chemistry helps in diagnosis of disease plaguing the human body. Like in ongoing pandemic, diagnosis of COVID-19 is essential to identify and treat the disease. Chemistry also helps in increasing life expectancy as it helps in understanding the body composition like the human body is approximately 99% composed of just six elements, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, calcium, and phosphorus. Another five elements make up about 0.85% of the remaining mass, sulfur, potassium, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium. And without chemistry, we won't be able to understand all these terms and their uses in our body. A vaccine is a biological preparation that provides active acquired immunity to a particular infectious disease. But how do you think it's prepared? It is prepared by adding different molecular compounds and after several different compositions, a balanced proportion of solution is made, which is effective against that particular disease. Chemistry is very essential in everything, whether from biological to physical. Everything requires a stable study of compositions solutions and molecules and which we known as chemistry. Thank you. Great. <laughs> Lastly, Kushi would deliberate on the important role played by chemistry in controlling the menace of pollution which sometimes seem to challenge the existence of mankind. Thank you, Shivangi, for introducing me. Going to introduce about pollution control. Environmental issues such as water pollution, climatic changes, air pollution, and renewable energy have become important issues in our daily life. Many people, as well as chemical industries, are harmful to the environment. However, nowadays many new advances and scientific researches in the field of chemistry are developed to invent more environment friendly applications and objects while they help keep up with the lifestyle we expect. An example of environment-friendly chemistry is green chemistry. Tackling air pollution takes a combination of approaches, including regulation, land use planning, technological solutions, and consumer behavior. Chemistry plays a role in developing technological solutions. 
chemist helps to decrease emission from transport in a variety of ways, ranging from developing cleaner fuels to increasing the efficiency of engines. Chemists are also working to enable new transport technologies, for example, batteries for electric vehicles as fuel cells for hydrogen vehicles, as well as systems to produce fuels from renewable energy sources rather than fossil fuels. Another way to reduce pollutant emissions is by putting pollution control devices to the vehicle exhaust. For example, most petrol engines have three-way catalytic converters to reduce carbon monoxide, unburnt hydrocarbons, and nitrogen oxides from the exhaust. Platinum or palladium catalysts oxidize carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons to produce carbon dioxide and water, while rhodium catalysts reduce nitrogen oxides to produce nitrogen and oxygen. Chemists, material scientists, and engineers developed and improved the catalyst absorbers and particulate filters that reduce pollutant emissions. In the future, even the clothes you wear and our buildings could purify the air. Photocatalytic clothing can break down nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds using just oxygen and light. The same technology has been used in paint and cement allowing buildings to clean the air around them. Green chemistry is the philosophy of chemistry whose aim is to modify present in order to prevent problems in the future. It plays an important role in prevention of pollution. Green chemistry is a new field, but it has significant achievement in control of pollution. By using green chemistry, we can prepare a prototype of any chemical reaction and can study the use, chemical, and properties of products. When a chemical reaction is carried out in an ultraviolet light, sound wave and microwave then use that positive output. UK companies making face masks for cows to help save the planet from methane pollution. It's an unusual way of saving the planet and Prince Charles has backed the invention that helps reduce the emissions of methane. The mask created by startup Zell used pioneering technology to convert methane emitted by cow's burps into carbon dioxide and water vapor. The mask sits around the head and catches methane when cows exhale it. The gas travels through a micro-sized catalytic converter and it is released into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide and water vapor. Finally, we can say the chemical sciences help us to control pollution through various ways. Everything requires a proper management and very soon with the help of chemistry, problem of pollution will be under control. Thank you. I hope with today's deliberation, we have enriched our knowledge and now are in a better position to appreciate the important role played by chemistry in technological advancement of the society. Thank you.